The Ontario Regiment Museum rolled out their tanks for a Kino Day, Saturday, May 31st. Yeah, this is the inaugural event. Uh, we've, we've held uh, events in the past. Uh, this is the first time we're trying to attempt to put a military show of this scale together in, for Canada. An attempt to give Ontario um, a show that's of the level that we see uh, in the United States or in Great Britain. Over 2,000 Durham residents visited the museum for the big event. There was fun for the whole family, including remote control tanks for children to play with. Amps Great White North provided military memorabilia and a military market was the destination for restoration parts. But the big attraction was the two live military shows, providing action from over 15 vehicles, including armored personnel carriers and tanks. The main attraction was the Second World War event and we had about six vehicles take part in that. Um, then there was the, the full battle reenactment which sort of uh, was trying to recreate the uh, events at Aquino uh, in Italy during the Second World War. The grand finale was the Gulf War reenactment which included about nine British and American military vehicles. And that was a special event because we actually had UK veterans uh, who actually served in the Gulf War, come over here and crew their exact vehicles for the show. Well, that is exceptionally rare. Alan Duffy sits on the board of directors for the museum. His passion for restoring military vehicles brought British Army veterans to Aquino Day. Quite extraordinary. Uh, two years ago, while I was in, uh, in Afghanistan, uh, I got a little uh, comms from, uh, from Alan Duffy over there saying, uh, do you recognize the registration of this, uh, this vehicle that I've just bought? Uh, and it turns out to be that vehicle just over there, which was indeed uh, in my troop just before going to the Gulf War. And thereafter, he set up on this uh, epic quest to recreate the exact same vehicle. And it's uh, just like turning back the clock by about 23 years. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's, it's like being a kid at Christmas again. 12-year-old aspiring cadet Jordan Poirier's favourite tank was the M60, one of the largest vehicles in the museum's collection. It's, I like it because it's really big and they, they it's... Big and modern. Yeah, modern tank. Some of them, some of them are old. And <laughs> they're still all, all of them are still cool. It was a great day. Uh, it turned out better than we expected. We learned a lot, and we're looking forward to a better show next year. This is Leanna McLean reporting with Metroland Media Group. Ah, here comes a cool thing.